excess blinds out there. I'm back. Yeah, man, I don't know what happened the other night. I tried to upload uh, the book part of it. You know, I, I did the other two clips, but not sure what happened. You know, the art of war. Um, but not sure what happened. And it wouldn't upload. So, I'm going to read it. Give you a background of the city. You know, um, pretty much at the office right now. And this is where I come for serenity a lot of the time. Um, I don't have to deal with nobody in the office. I just do my own thing. Um, and I come up here, man, to the roof, see downtown. Um, State House is over there. Uh, MGH Bridge to Cambridge and all that stuff. But let me get to reading. Um, let me point out a few things that I said um, during the missing time that was missing that I couldn't upload. I did two clips, so you guys got that. You know, that was fine. But I stated a few more gems that was worth uh, saying right now, which is, and we're doing the Auto War by Sun Tzu. Great book. I need y'all to go pick that up. If you're into books, hopefully I can sway you into getting into books. Don't wait until you locked up or um, on this, you know, take advantage while you're on this quarantine because you're damn near locked up. So take advantage, read, download it on Kindle, uh, get whatever app, get a, um, the uh, audio book or get the physical book, man. This book only costs about $5. I had this book the last couple of years, and I've read this book at least 15 times. No no kidding. You know, it's only like 100 pages. It's quick. At least 100 times. I mean, 15 times I read this book. So it was very beneficial to my everyday life. Um, you know, this book is just about being a general. You know what I mean? And I'll get into that, but... More importantly, man, I want to speak about negative people. Man. You, you can't be negative uh, and chase your dreams at the same time. You're gonna have pitfalls. You're gonna go through things. Um, you're gonna go through a lot of things, a lot of pitfalls, and you just gotta pick yourself up by the bootstrap and realize um, it's all worth it in the end. You know. Um, in that clip that I couldn't upload, I spoke about uh, somewhat of a associate employee who works in another department, but we kind of have all meetings together. Um, and usually, like a Monday, we have a meeting. Um, but it's a holiday today. Me, I don't give a damn. I don't um, uh, celebrate these holidays, man. I call them these holidays. I'd rather get up out here and go get what's mine and um, stay busy, stay positive. Uh, but yeah, we, we had a meeting, and after the meeting, you know, he's like, Dre, man, how, how you been? Blah, blah, blah. You know, I see him in passing every now and again. And he's like, um, yeah, uh, you know, what, what, what? I heard you, you know, got a lot of uh, different hours and and we're doing a lot of hours this year. And I said, yeah, I've been doing like 90 to 100 hours uh, a week. He's like, oh man, that damn, they, they tax you like crazy. That's too much taxes, that's too much taxes. And I'm like, no. We, we get taxed everything we do, whether it's, uh, whether it's, excise tax, um, property tax, tax on your food, your groceries, your, your clothes, 
you know, the kick gal and kick a Bible with me. And um, he's like, oh, yeah, well, you know, yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather just do my 40, man, and call it a day. I'm like, cool, that's you. You know, and that's what I'm saying, man. Some people are going to see the glass is half empty, and you're going to see it as half full. You know, don't let anybody discourage you while you're on your path of greatness. You know, get up out here. You know, he's got 20 years on me, man. He's 55, you know what I'm saying? So when I get 55, I do not want to be working for someone. You know, I want to be building my own empire, you know what I mean? So right now, because of, you know, my beliefs before and everything like that, you know, rather work for someone real quick and learn some things and tricks of the trade and, and, and different avenues I can get and build different relationships um, with people that, you know, can look at me and look me in the eye and realize that I'm real, I'm solid, and I'm all about my business. And I, if I can make them an ally or be a good associate, we can do some business in the future. And me, you know, I'm just going to continue on and build up my wealth, build up my revenue to put forth uh, in my business and into myself. You know what I mean? So these people just want to work 40 hours and, and go home, sit on the couch and watch basketball, football, and soccer, and, and drink beer. Hey, that's on them. And have a beer belly, that's on them, man. You know what I'm saying? Me. I'd rather get up out here and go get it, chase my dreams, chase my goals. Hey, does this world blow up? Hey, at least I've been on my grind and I was chasing my goals during this time. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I wasn't out here fooling around in these last days. You know, I'm very smart, very intelligent, but at the same time, I'm still chasing my goals and chasing my dreams. And, um, executing my plans, man, one by one. Everything on the paper, I just execute, and it's time to make new goals, man. You know what I mean? So, let's get into this. Like I say, people gonna be negative, man. That's just the devil coming in the form of a man trying to trick you off your square, you know? Don't get tricked, you know? A lot of, like, a lot of people get tricked off your square. A lot of people get tricked off the streets, you know, by, by either, you know, so-called OG, giving people wrong game or so-called uh, girlfriend or wife and you go to bed for her and you locked up man she with somebody else the next day so don't get tricked off your square man you know keep going keep going you know the only opinion that matters is yours all right so let's get into it let's get into it the auto world by Sensu. like i said i'm doing this because for some reason, I wouldn't upload. Um, for some reason, I did the first two clips. That was fine, but then when I went to upload it later, I wouldn't do it. So I don't know. It is what it is. I can give you guys this good view anyway, so you guys can see. And um, let's get it. Sun Tzu said, the art of war is, vi is, is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. The art of war is governed by five constant factors to be taken into one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are one, moral law, the moral law. Two, heaven. Three, earth. Four, commander. Five, method and discipline. The moral law causes the people to be causes the people to be in complete accord with their ruler, so that they will follow him regardless of their lives, undismayed by any anger. Heaven signifies night and day, cold and heat times and seasons. Earth comprises distances, great and small, danger and security. Danger and security, open ground and narrow passes, 
the chances of life and death. The commander stands for the virtues of wisdom, sincerity, benevolence, courage, and strictness. By method and discipline are to be understood the marshalling of the army in its prosperous subdivisions, the graduations, the gradations of rank among the officers, the maintenance of roads by which supplies may reach the army and the control of military expenditure. These five heads should be familiar, these five heads should be familiar to every general. He who knows them will be victorious. He, he who knows these them will not fail. Therefore, in your deliberations, when seeking to determine the military conditions, let them be made the basis of a comparison in the wise. All right, so that's basically it for that. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and read the whole book for you. you know, that wouldn't be what I do this for. I do this book club. Um, so people can get, you know, more comfortable um, reading books, man. I come from the slums, man, and books really help me out um, in my mindset, in my business, um, in my spirituality, in my righteousness, man, in my, you know, monetary gains, everything, man. It just, um, it's a breath of fresh air, too. It's relaxing, man. You can take a step back and stop looking at, you know, television and sports and playing video games and just read a good book, man. You know, before you go to sleep or, you know, you're out in the park, you're out at the beach, you know, you're out, you know, in the sun on the, on a bench or you at a trail, you just stop, you know what I mean, and just take a breath, man, and just read a couple pages, man. Me personally, I read about five, five, seven to ten pages a day, you know what I mean? And, by the time you know it, within two weeks, that book is done. That book is done. That's like 70 a week times two, 140 pages, man. So if you got a book longer than that, I try to read a little extra some days. But minimum, man, two weeks, two and a half weeks, I read a book and it's done. So I'm reading like two books a month, you know, that's 24 a year. And sometimes you get these small books and you'll be done quicker. So. Every year, man, I'm trying to read, you know, 30, 40 books, you know, 10 years, man, that's 400 books, man. 400 books of information in my brain, you know, um, where if I see some, you know what I mean, it's computerized in my brain already, man. You know, it's computed, you know what I mean? So that's what I say about being sober, man. Uh, obtain this knowledge, man, and um, that other people went through, man, you know? A wise man learns from other people's mistakes before he makes them, man. So what am I going, you know, these guys are laying it out, for, these guys and girls, these authors are laying it out for you, trials and tribulations that they might have went through, or you're watching other people go through trials and tribulations. Why are you going to keep making the same mistakes? You know, you just double dutch, play hot scotch through, uh, situations that are fires man and, and you come out on top you know why are you making the same mistakes that you know people in your family have made people that you know have made people that you work with have made people that you you know play sports with have made why why are you going through the same thing uh, you're just going to be in a room full of people who made the same mistakes man that's not a room full of smart people you know so and that's what i say about you know some people, man, if, if, like for me, for example, man, I have no kids. Some people, man, try to throw that against me. Like, hey, oh, you should have five kids right now. You should have, you know, uh, 15 kids, you know, for what? Not that kids are not a blessing, but everything I've seen around me my whole life, besides like my grandmother and grandfather and my, um, actually my father, you know what I mean? Um, you know, things didn't work out with him and my mother, but he got married and he's been married, you know, the last 30 years, same woman. And the same goes for my grandmother and grandfather. 
they were married till death, you know what I mean? So it was death do them part, you know what I mean? Besides that, things don't last, you know what I mean? And um, I, I refuse to be a weakened father, you know what I mean? If it happens, it happens, but me, I'm going to strap up out here, you know what I mean? Until I meet that right woman. Me, I want to go home and, and read books to my kids. I want to help my kids with homework. I want to school my kids. I don't want to be no weakened father every other week because the mother's mad at me and because I moved on and uh, have ill feelings for me or her new boyfriend or her new husband got ill feelings towards me and I can't see my kid and I got to go to a judge to, to, to mediate and all this crap, man. I don't want to deal with the system, man. I deal with the system all my life, man. The system ain't nothing, especially towards a, a righteous black man. So why would I want to go through that, you know, again, in order to see my kid, man? That's why some people go crazy, man. And then some people leave their kid out here to fend for themselves because they don't want to deal with, you know, the mother or the single father or whatever the case may be. You know, there's a lot of great single fathers out here, there's a lot of great single mothers out here, but me personally, I want both, you know, so until it's, it's time, it's time, that's it, you know, so like you had the guy who just passed, um, Chadwick Boseman, you know, R.I.P. to him, you know, who played the Black Panther, one of the main movies he's known for, and Jackie Robinson and stuff like that, um, he passed away, he didn't have no kids, you know, he's 42. You know, uh, I'm not on that, that tip, but, you know, handsome guy, you know, successful guy, you know. But he didn't have any kids. You know, that was his choice, you know. So if it happens, it happens, man. Me, us as men, you stay healthy. You can have kids in your 50s, 60s, man. Look at Dr. Sebi. I think he was 70-something or 70-something. He had a, a, a kid. So, you know, when it happens, it happens. But I'm not falling for no tricks. I'm not getting tricked off my square to have sex with a demon. And then she had me in court for the rest of my life. You know, that's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm going to end up getting tricked off the streets about my kid. So that kid ain't going to be with me anyway, you know, if I get tricked off the street. Because... I'm, you know, I'm not even gonna say what I do, but <laughs> God help me. But yeah, man, don't don't let nobody tell you what you need to be doing. Only opinion that matters is yours, man. Stay righteous as possible out here. All right, we're gonna read some scriptures. Look at the skyline, man. It's beautiful. You know, it's Labor Day. Um, for me, I'd rather get up out here and get it. Other people, man, and barbecue and. They all spending their money. Hey, my money's tucked. I'm out here. Damn near doing nothing. Just looking at the scenery, chilling, reading my Bible, reading books, and uh, conquering goals and working out while I'm getting paid. So, hey, it is what it is. Keep a big boy Gatorade, you know what I'm saying? Um, big boy Gatorade, drink at least one a day. Y'all you know, see that 14 mile run, that was a no fluke. That was me getting it in. Alright? And I keep the Bible with me, man. No matter where I go, man, I ride with my Bible. So we're going to do like we did the other day. Fortunately, it didn't load up, man. I was dropping a lot of gems, man. You know? But, things happen for a reason. Maybe I need to stop helping start up some stuff with my laptop or iPad in order to, to get it right. But, as I get nicer and I get more time, we start editing a lot more things and um, do a lot more view things like this, where you just hear my voice and you might see the book and that's it, you know what I mean? Y'all see my face, y'all know what I look like, I ain't hiding, but I want to get more behind the scenes, you know what I mean? And just hear my voice and hear what I'm about, you know what I mean? So let's get into it. 
like I say, I always try to match whatever book I'm reading with uh, the book. I always try to match whatever book I'm reading uh, the same as the book, you know, the chapter that I'm going to read in the Bible. You know, so the Lord was a man of war. You know, and I'm going to read Exodus 15, which is basically, you know, before this, this is what, you know, he said, you know, let my people go and free, you know, us, you know, the Israelites from, from Pharaoh, who was the king of Egypt, and he had us in slavery and bondage and part of the Red Sea for us and, and basically collapsed his whole army and sent them pestilence and, you know, stuff like that. And... You know, it's the same as, you know, being in the, the art of war. The same rules and principles I just told you guys. And it's the same here. You know, the Lord uses those those rules and principles. All right? It's, uh, it's a little windy up there, but we don't get to it. Okay. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The, the horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, and song is he become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him in habitation. My father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. You see that? The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. He has the help right there. Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast unto the sea. His chosen calves is also drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sink into the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, is home become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, hath clashed in pieces the enemy. And in the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood upright as a heap, and the depths were con congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil, my lust shall be satisfied upon thee, I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Thou didst blow with thy wind. The sea covered them. They sank as lead, as lead in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Exodus 15. Exodus 15, baby. If you don't know the story of this particular Bible, I say it in like episode uh, two or three, um, that Bible was given to me by my late grandmother, uh, Geneva, who I call Nana, of course, and uh, she passed away, man, it was one of her items that were left, um, that's all I wanted, you know what I mean, I don't care what was left in the will, all this stuff, man. I wanted something that she put her hands on and her heart into every day, and that was the Bible. You know, the same goes for her husband, which is my grandfather who passed away. Uh, my grandmother passed away in 2002, and he passed away, you know, long years later, he passed away in 2014, and I did the same thing. So, when you see that Bible on my passenger seat, that's my grandmother's Bible I ride with.
and then my Bible in my house is my grandfather's Bible. So she has the Old Testament, he has the New Testament. So when I'm inside in the house, I'll read the New, Te New Testament. When I'm out and about, you know, I got my Bible on my dash. That's my grandmother's Bible, the Old Testament. So, um, yeah, man. So I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys like the view. This is Boston. Especially you know, this past summer has been nice. I just come up here, man, and uh, enjoy the fruits of my labor, as they say. You know, clear my mind and uh, thank the Lord, you know, for, for all the blessings that He has given me and uh, all the triumphs that I've overcome in the past years and goals that I've achieved. And, I'm still here, man, to talk about it, man. And, and the Lord is great. I'm not perfect. I got some things I need to work on still. Nobody's going to be perfect. But I'm in the works, man, you know. I'm going to work, you know. I'm going to work for it, you know. So I appreciate you guys, like I say around this time. Stay up. Stay shining. They smile on them. Shine on them, man. Shine on them. Until next time. Peace.